Ja, dat scheelt. Maar ik ga er eerst inderdaad even gewoon op zitten, kijken of ik bij de grond kan en zo. Ik ben benieuwd. <laughs> ik had niet verwacht dat hij zo hoog was. Hij is wel een stukje hoger dan die van mij. Hè? Ja, anders, anders moet je bij de stoplichten moet je in, de, in, de, in de sporen van de band gaan staan. Ja, ja, en dan... Niet op een stuk hoger. <laughs> of helemaal langs de rand, op de stoep. <laughs> ik zal even kijken. Nou, schijn kan hij wel. Met de teentjes. Onder tippy toes. En uh, is de koppeling gevoelig en zo en de versnellingen? Ja? Yes, let's do it. Oké. Okay. It's really small compared to my VFR. Really upright as well. It's pretty nice. The throttle is really is much twitchier than mine. It's really sensitive. I don't really feel like I'm higher than normal on the, on this bike. It's a higher bike and I can reach the ground with my tippy toes. The throttle itself is really smooth, but it's a bit uh, twitchy so it has to be you have to be really precise but I guess that's you get used to that very quickly the clutch is indeed a bit heavy but nothing problematic or I mean you can train your lower arm muscles with it so that's fine call me beefcake but the sound you can complain about the sound right <laughs> it's immediate. On my VFR it takes a while to rev up, but this is immediate. Very quickly. I won't tell you what he paid for it, but it will go around 9000 I think. Second hand. And it's of course the bike made famous by Royal, Royal Jordanian. And I can see why, because it's... I haven't ridden it in the corners net yet so we have to see how nimble it is but it feels really uh, nice for a cruise bike you know for just a little ride but you can't really tap tap it down in gear you really have to push it all the other details I will put up in the screen here and you can see for yourself how much how horsepower it has and that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah I can see as well the indicator is pretty far away so I have to reach with my thumb and it's uh, different on my VFR the indicator is the horn and here the horn is on the place of my indicators and here you have just the kill switch and the start button and here the switch for the lights and the red button for ABS but I'm not going to press that because that I would like it to be on you do have a gear indicator which is nice I do not have that on my VFR I've only given it a quarter throttle yet so we have to see how much power it gives 
but I like the wide handlebars and upright position. It's, uh, I don't think you will get sore really quickly. First we're going to take it easy, take some straight roads. And I will be able to tell you more then. Brakes feel pretty good. Oh, the brakes are good. They're perfect. Nice Brembo brakes. And it goes pretty good. Here? So the gearing is pretty high. I do have the feeling I have to grip the gas tank warm it with my knees because I do slide a little bit forward oh it's weird being this upright and then going to a corner that's the owner of the bike riding my bike now I'm doing uh, 100 kilometers per hour now and the wind is not actually that bad. This screen is doing a pretty good job of protecting uh, protecting me. I wouldn't really re recommend it as a, a highway cruiser, but it's perfect for this kind of riding. And because it looks sexy as fuck, <laughs> because it looks sexy as fuck, and it sounds sexy as fuck, people will really notice you and that's what some bikes are, bikers are after so it's not a bike you see every day you know small little hill test That was quite good. That's the twitchy trot wagon. <laughs> oh, that's something I didn't really think about. Because the handlebar is wider, you have to counter steer more. Well, at least it's more obvious. You can't just turn right, you really have to pull on the left and then you go right. Let's see how it does on some hills. Whoop. Oh, it's quite stiff. It feels pretty good in the corners. Damn that sound, man. Fucking great. Right, let's test it on some twisties. Let's go to the post bomb. Okay, one small conclusion for now. It's a great upright position. I'm not that tall and I can reach the ground okay. There's kits where you can lower the bike, of course, but not really necessary the handlebars are great these are the stock handlebars really wide that makes for the feeling that you have a lot of control over the bike a lot of grip uh, and you really can lean into the corner because you have such a wide handlebar and you can hold on to hold on to it and I do think the gearing is higher than usual so you get to through the gears really fast, really quickly. That's not necessarily a bad thing. And it's not the normal exhaust, it is a different one. But it's just a slip-on I think, not a full titanium. So it's not as loud as Royal Jordanians, but it's still 
I don't I wouldn't have to I wouldn't like it to be louder otherwise people will hate you you can't really ride it normally but because I'm not used to this bike in the roundabout you really have to be careful because it can you can have something like this you see how violent that is and it can be dangerous it just it, it is something you have to get used to my bike has it as well but it's not as violent as that one it's really it gives you a kick you can definitely feel it has a lot of torque it will really push you forward Okay, now really careful through these corners because I don't want to die, please. <laughs> Be really careful with the throttle. don't go too fast because you're on a bike unfamiliar mate this bike feels great in the corners <laughs> 